This is MJ's Tavern, where a lot of LGBTQ people gather to have a good time. But I spoke with the owner. He tells me recent threats against the community concern him, leading him to now think about more security upgrades for his business. We're made a target by those who think that they are better than us because we're different than them. John Childers is mourning after the tragic shooting at Club Q in Colorado. As the owner of a gay establishment here in Norfolk, he says the senseless attack impacts everyone. We had a moment of silence here at the bar. Not only that, but we also had uh, one of our local clergy from a local church. He was in here for a few hours to tell people deal with it. The Colorado shooting came during Transgender Awareness Week and hours before Sunday's Transgender Day of Remembrance, where events around the world are held to remember and mourn transgender people lost to violence. It's scary. It could happen anywhere. I mean, it happens in movie theaters, it happens in bars. Anybody could walk in for no reason, and it's, it's scary. Although the motive behind the shooting is not clear yet, one LGBTQ activist in Hampton suspects it was a hate crime. There are so many people against us living as LGBT um, people. We would think the gay club would be a safe space for us because it's for our community. But nowadays, no place is safe but home. Leading Childers to now increase security measures at MJ's Tavern. This way they know that I know and that if somebody says something to them wrong or does something wrong or commits any kind of an act of aggression that we have it on camera. In Norfolk, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.